What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness. Welcome to another episode of a self-aware narcissist reacts. Today, we have a short clip by Brene Brown talking about how narcissistic people have a distinct fear of being average. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Do you know that narcissism is the most shame-based of all the personality disorders? Hmm. Narcissism is not about self-love at all. It's about grandiosity driven by high performance and self-hatred. It's, you know, I define it as the shame-based fear of being ordinary. The shame-based fear of being ordinary. Oof. Of course, if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So, y'all, that was Brene Brown right there. Author, just amazing, y'all. Brene Brown, B-R-E-N-E -E Brown. Amazing. But what she said, said right there, y'all, was extremely, extremely true. Y'all, the shame based. Oh, my goodness. It, it is, y'all. The shame based feel the shame based fear of being ordinary because it absolutely is. It just is, y'all. Um, she like that was super fire because like me, myself, as a diagnosed narcissist, I, you know, one of my biggest fears is absolutely being average is being viewed as average is, is dying average. I've actually told my therapist that I like, look. I don't want to die average, you know, if anything, I want to, you know, if anything, I want to just leave my legacy, leave my mark on the world. So that's why you see me and a lot of other narcissistic people trying to be mega successful, trying to, you know, do something to leave our mark to make sure that we are remembered and not forgotten and things like that. You know, so me personally, like I've tried acting, modeling, um, real estate. Um, different jobs, sports, like everything to try to be just super popular and try to leave a legacy on the wall. Like my, like it's gonna sound weird, but one of my like dreams, my delusion is, is to ha have my picture, like my family a hundred years from now, have my picture above like the fireplace. And, like that's the guy right here, right there that made our family good. That's this Lee Hammock right there. <laughs> that's old man Lee right there. He was a he was a self aware narcissist, and he changed the changed the trajectory of our family. You see, what I'm saying that's the type of stuff. That's the type of type of thoughts I have, y'all. I've had these weird thoughts about like writing my eulogies to my sons to have something to read at my funeral to make sure I was remembered. Yeah, I'm. A lot of narcissists and toxic people absolutely 100% have the fear of being ordinary because ordinary means we fit in. Ordinary um, average means we're not special or anything like that. And most of us do absolutely want to be special. We want to be viewed as superior beings and things like that. And you, if you get it, if you get a narcissistic person that's average, that's trying a lot to be successful and they're failing a lot, they're going to take that anger and that failure of that failure out on you. They just absolutely are, y'all. They're going to take that anger, that failure, their resentment. They're going to take that 100% out on you. The people closest to them, the people closest to that narcissist are going to get treated the worst because you become the, you become their emotional punching bag. You know what I mean? And sometimes, sometimes their physical punching bag. They're going to take out their anger and frustration out on you. And what she also mentioned in that video is about the, the lack of self-love the narcissistic people have. Yeah. The more we fail, the more we hate ourselves. You know, I mean, the more we not, the, the, the less successful we are, the more we hate ourselves and things like that. And some narcissistic people get to the point where they are, they actually future fake themselves into believing that they're going to be successful because they do something small. Ooh, this is, I'm on a, I'm on a pathway to success right now. I completed this small minuscule goal, but that means I'm on it. You mean, you mean that means I'm on it. They take one acting class and that means that they're going to be a famous actor. Me. Like I said, delusions of grandeur. It's like my therapist told me, it's not the delusions of grandeur; it's the delusions of fulfillment. We have these huge goals and dreams because we think they're going to fulfill us and make us special, and things like that. And we, we even when we hit those goals, we fail at it. Even when we hit those goals, even when we try to hit those goals and succeed, um, it, even when we hit those goals, we're not happy. So you get a lot of narcissistic people that don't want to be average. They want to be extraordinary people. But when we do extraordinary things, we're still not happy. So we try to do more extraordinary things. Like we keep, you see, like I say, that's why you see a lot of narcissists and toxic people that switch jobs, that switch, you know, career paths, that switch, you know, they try to be successful. They'll quit their jobs and start their own business. They'll keep starting business after business after business trying to be successful. They don't want to be average. You know, they want to be remembered like Michael Jordan or Tony Robbins or somebody like that. Delusions of grandeur are real, y'all. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna keep this thing short, five minutes or less. Five minutes or less, like I said in the beginning. Like and subscribe. Mental illness is out. Peace.